Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Dora, and I'm here to share a children's message with you today. How are you guys doing this morning? Well, I'm a bit hungry, so I think I'm gonna have a little snack before we get started. All oh, these crackers look pretty good right now, so I think I'll eat some of these. Mmm, so good. Um, I think I forgot something. Um, my mouth is really dry. And I need something. What do I need? What do you guys think? I think I need something to drink. Thank goodness you guys are here to help me. Mm. Oh, so glad I had this water here. Mmm. So good. Uh, so much better. You know what? This reminds me of a story from the Bible. <clears throat> Jesus met a woman by a well who was really thirsty like this. Mm. But not unlike me, she was thirsty for a different reason. It wasn't because of the bad choice to shove a bunch of crackers in her mouth. No, she had made other bad choices. She had made bad choices about relationships with other people. <clears throat> Sorry. She was trying to quench a thirst for love and belonging with other people rather than with God. She had tried and failed many, many times to love and be loved in relationships. And it just wasn't working. Something was missing. Down deep in her soul, she was so, so thirsty. And then she met Jesus. Jesus told this woman that he could meet her needs. She could know him and grow closer to God, and she would never have that thirst again. She could stop looking to other people to make her happy and get make her fulfilled, and instead she could let Jesus fill up her heart and soul. Well, just like me with those uh, crazy crackers, she jumped at the chance to have her thirst quenched. More than that, she got so excited about not being thirsty anymore, she thought about all the other unhappy and unfulfilled people she knew in her hometown, and she thought, you know what? They're as miserable and as thirsty in their hearts and souls as I was. I have to make sure that they meet Jesus too. Right? So she went to the town and told them all about it. This woman had a lot in common with us, many of us today. We think our lives would be perfect if only. If only we meet the right person. If only we make a lot of money. If only we were popular. But that isn't the way it works. God has put wonderful people around us to take care of us and love us. But ultimately, there is a thirst for love and belonging that I believe only Jesus can meet completely. It's only when we are in a relationship with him that our thirst will be truly, fully quenched. All right, let's bow our heads and we're going to say a prayer. You guys ready? God, thank you for meeting our needs for relationship, love, and care in your son Jesus. Just like the woman in the story, it's easy for us to try and fulfill our needs with things that just leave us thirsting for more. We long, Holy Spirit, to be filled up with you, filled so much that our joy, our love, and our caring spills out towards others. It's in Jesus' name that we pray today. Amen. And here at Trinity, we'd like to send you away with a special blessing, and I'd like for you guys to join with me. You ready? And all that we think in all that we say, in all that we do, let us glorify you. God bless everyone. Have a great week. Bye-bye.